All right, everybody. We're going to go ahead and download the Machine Mark 1 drivers. I know a lot of you have requested this. Hopefully, this video helps. I'm currently on the Native Instrument website uh, in the support slash download slash drivers other files section. I will put the link in the description as always. You want to go ahead and search for machine and um, you'll see you have the controller driver for Windows 7 and above. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to go ahead and download and I'm going to open the file machine controller setup PC wait for that to open hit yes go ahead hit next accept the terms next next installs the controller editor and also installs the driver so my understanding is this takes care of both. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to test it out. And that's set up. I'm going to go ahead, pause recording, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my controller, plug it to the computer. All right, everybody. I've gone ahead and plugged in my machine. Um, I've, uh, I've plugged it into my computer. Uh, it gives me the start machine software or press shift control for MIDI. I'm going to go ahead now and install Native Instruments Machine Plus, uh, or I believe it's Machine 2. Machine 2 download. And I'm going to go to Production Systems, Machine Downloads. And then download Machine 2 software. Go ahead and download it for Windows. It's going to set up native access for me. Uh, this is a fresh build that I'm running right now, everybody. So this is, I figured it's a good chance for me to try and test this out, set it up, make sure it's working. Um, I'll make sure to also show you that I am indeed running it. I'm going to record uh, using my machine with, with my camera. Uh, this is just me setting everything up. So I'm going to open up native access move my machine here to the side. Let's go ahead and install the of access. Now while that's installing, um, since I have it plugged in, I want to make sure that the controller editor actually registers. Uh, now, as you can see, it's popped up. My machine has lights. Um, as you see, it is actually registering my device, so the driver works. So I finished installing the drivers as I showed you before, but I just wanted to show you that everything seems to be working fine after installing it. As you can see, I've loaded up the controller editor, and as I tap a pad on the Machine Mark 1 here, you will see on the screen there, each pad glow with a red border. So. As you could see here, E1, F1, and so forth. Even the knobs get registered, as you can see. And I showed this in the video earlier, but what I also wanted to show you that, to, to kind of give you a little bit of confidence that this will indeed work, is I'm actually opening up Machine 2. Now note that you do have to purchase Machine 2 separately. If you bought this used, especially since it's an old device. Native Instruments does not give out licenses for Machine 2 anymore, unless you purchased a Machine Mark 3. So you can get one of these on eBay for under $100. You can buy the Machine 2 software for, I believe, $60 if I'm correct, um, on their website. It's, it's Machine Essentials, and when you buy that, you get the the software and maybe a couple more sounds so you, you can download everything via the native instruments application uh, they have something called native access so here's a demo of everything working as you see the controller works 
Uh, in fact, there's a bunch of preloaded projects here that I could even play and show you uh, that continue to work with this plugged in. So you have output, things seem to be working fine. I hope you can follow this tutorial and install it on your end if you have purchased a Mark 1. Uh, I made this video because I did get a couple of comments as well as an email or two uh, requesting a further tutorial on this process. Uh, I'm happy to hear that a lot of you have purchased the Machine Mark 1. It's a great piece of hardware, it's built really well, and it works really, really well with the latest software. Um, so, so if you have one of these, and if you're wondering if it's been sitting in your closet for a couple of years, if it still works, and if you could still use it and make some music, there's your answer. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one.